FCC expected to roll back rules on net neutrality at a meeting in Washington today. The rules keep internet service providers from prioritizing one web company over another. Critics say it could lead to slower speeds for some companies and higher costs for some consumers. Laura Podesta reports from New York. Michael Muyo runs an investment analytics business and depends on net neutrality. It provides companies like his equal access to the internet. With all the information, everything that we provide for our clients, we pretty much live and breathe through the internet. But today, the FCC is expected to vote to eliminate net neutrality. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai told CBS News in the spring the internet thrived before the Obama era rules and they stifle investment. And because those regulations are so prescriptive, uh, many companies, big and small, have told us that they are holding back on investment in their internet networks. For months, protests have popped up against the rollback. Dozens of internet companies asked the FCC to keep the current rules in place. Critics fear that providers like Comcast and Verizon could charge internet giants like Netflix and Google more for faster connections. CNET News Executive Editor Roger Cheng says that could create fast lanes for companies willing to pay, making it hard for smaller companies to compete. The other fear is the idea that if some of these companies are paying a premium to get faster service to you, some of those costs might get passed down to you. So ultimately, your bill might be higher for certain video services. Companies like AT&T, Verizon, Comcast all own significant businesses that offer video services to you. And so. The fear here is that these companies might prioritize their own video services over rivals. Internet service providers say there are no plans to block or restrict content on the internet, but critics are wary. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. FCC Chairman Ajit Pai previously served as the FCC Commissioner under President Obama.